Well, the ONTRAC study uh, was designed to look at nicotinamide for the prevention of non-melanoma skin cancers. These are remarkably common and place a very high burden on healthcare systems. So some years back, our chief investigator, Professor Diona Damien, went in search of a non-toxic agent that uh, might be useful as a skin cancer chemopreventive. And some early animal work suggested nicotinamide, a form of vitamin B3, could be effective in uh, preventing uh, skin cancers. And so that led a collaborative effort and quite a deal of early preclinical work and, and early clinical work as well that elucidated the ways in which nicotinamide might be having a, uh, an effect in suppressing uh, skin cancers. So with that as the foundation, the ONTRAC trial was created, designed and conducted uh, and it demonstrated very, very uh, interesting results indeed. So we uh, enrolled and randomised 386 immunocompetent patients that had a history of non-melanoma skin cancers, at least two in the previous five years. These patients were enrolled from the dermatology outpatient clinics of two hospitals in Sydney, Australia. Uh, and they uh, were a, a representative mix of the sort of patients that would routinely be seen in the clinic, uh, with ages spanning from 30 right up until uh, 91, I, if I recall correctly. The average age was about uh, 66 and 63% were, were men. So very typical of the sort of uh, skin cancer patients seen at these clinics. Well, the ONTRAC study found a reduction in the incidence of non-melanoma skin cancers of 23%. Uh, we saw comparable levels of efficacy for the different types of non-melanoma skin cancer, so they're primarily basal cell carcinomas, BCCs, and squamous cell carcinomas, SCCs. Uh, after the 12-month treatment period, we also looked at the incidence of skin cancers, and we found no evidence of a maintenance of benefit for nicotinamide once treatment had stopped. We found no uh, concerning safety problems, the adverse event rate, blood pressure changes, blood parameters were very comparable between the nicotinamide group and the placebo group. The recommended daily intake for uh, nicotinamide is, or vitamin B3, is about 20 milligrams per day. Kind of super B multivitamins might have up to 100 milligrams, and we were using 500 milligrams twice daily, so 1,000 milligrams in total. So very much in excess of what uh, people would naturally get as part of a normal diet. Uh, one important thing to say about the formulation is that nicotinamide is the amide form of vitamin B3. There are other forms, niacin, nico uh, nicotinic acid, and they should not be used as substitutes for nicotinamide. They have uh, side effects that are not seen with nicotinamide. Based on the preclinical work, our team has identified a number of mechanisms that uh, nicotinamide seems to have an effect on. So these cancers are primarily caused by exposure to UV radiation. That damages DNA and the repair of that DNA requires considerable cellular energy. The UV has unfortunately an additional effect in terms of depleting cellular energy. So it's depriving the cell of the energy it needs to repair the damage that's been done. And that can lead to mutations arising. Another is that UV radiation has a suppressive effect on the skin's anti-tumour immunity. So putting all these things together, it increases the risk of carcinogenesis uh, arising. So nicotinamide, is a, uh, plays a fundamental role in the production of cellular energy. So it seems to boost the cell's access to energy just at the time where it needs it after it's been damaged through this UV exposure. 
so the preclinical work has demonstrated this, that uh, nicotinamide increases cellular ATP that's been depleted by UV exposure. It uh, um, helps the cell repair the damage that's been caused by UV exposure. And it also has a, an effect in, on uh, reversing the immunosuppressive um, effects of UV radiation. So there are quite a number of mechanisms that we've demonstrated nicotinamide acts on. And there are some other uh, potential pathways. Uh, nicotinamide might have a, uh, a, 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 an effect in, in um, uh, inflammatory processes, which uh, are thought to be involved in carcinogenesis. And indeed, nicotinamide is used routinely in the dermatology clinic for the treatment of certain uh, autoimmune skin conditions because of its anti-inflammatory processes or mechanisms. Immunocompetent patients that have a history of non-melanoma skin cancer, so at least a, a couple in the previous five years, should be considered for treatment with nicotinamide. Uh, niacin or nicotinic acid should not be used as a substitute. Uh, we found some suggestion that nicotinamide might be more effective in people that had had even more skin cancers in the past but we feel that on balance that evidence isn't sufficient to warrant restricting nicotinamide. So immunocompetent, at least two of these skin cancers in the past five years, would seriously, uh, we'd recommend seriously considering uh, treatment with nicotinamide. And finally, nicotinamide is not a substitute for sunscreen use and sensible sun exposure behaviours. It's very important that they be maintained. Uh, but nicotinamide be considered as an additional preventative strategy that could be added into the mix.